There is no place like Nebraska, good old Nebraska, you. We'll stick together through all kinds of weather at dear old Nebraska, you. Hello again. It's me, Jared. I'm here again to talk Husker football. It's the off season. I know everybody needs a little you know, Husker talk to get them going, so that's what I'm here to do once again. Uh, I wanted to respond to a gentleman's video on YouTube, a big Oklahoma fan, and he made a very good point. Um, one of the things he talked about is the respect that Nebraska and Oklahoma fans have for each other, and I think that's one of the unique things between big rivals is, you know, usually it's such a hated rivalry, and I mean, and there is a definite passion there. I mean, no, nobody wants to win that game more than those two teams and the fan bases, but it's just the respect they have for each other. And he had a video on just recently, you know, talking about missing the Nebraska and Oklahoma rivalry. And a lot of people say, well, what do you mean they just played this year? Well, it's not the same like it once was. And part of the reason is because you know, Nebraska's down now, kind of like, uh, well, not as much now. I mean, Pelini's there, and they already had a nine-win season under Pelini, which was a big step from where they were under Callahan. So, I mean, they're there, um, and on the way up, believe me, they got some great young talent, and uh, we'll be there in no time. But it's not the same, partly because, you know, Nebraska's not in quite an OU's league, uh, right now, but uh, it's not every year. And the fact that they took it out of the day after Thanksgiving game when they formed the the uh, Big 12 in the mid-90s there, uh, it really hurt both schools, and it hurt the Big 12. I mean, the Big 12 was thinking at the time, oh, well, they'll just be in the Big 12 title every year. Well, it's only happened once, folks. And Nebraska and Oklahoma should be an every year affair. Now, I hate to offend Colorado fans. Well, no, I don't hate it. I mean, I actually enjoy it, offending Colorado fans. But when you look at the fact that they think that they're Nebraska's big rival, I mean, it's a joke. I mean, Colorado was nothing until Nebraska made them something. So, I mean... For those fans to sit here and try and get real proud about the Nebraska-Colorado rivalry, it's really a joke. Now, do we like beating them? Do we consider it a rivalry? Yes. But it's not a big Nebraska rivalry. Nebraska's actually probably got a big old, bigger rivalry with Missouri. I know Missouri is a game that I, you know, look to a lot more than I do Colorado. And certainly Oklahoma is a bigger, bigger rivalry. So... You know, I hate to say it, Colorado fans, but you totally suck. You don't know anything about respect or how to act because when people from Nebraska go out there just to watch a simple game and they can't worry about getting out of there without their car getting keyed or egged or, or uh, toilet papered or, you know, vandalism to vehicles just because it's got a Nebraska license plate, that, folks, is pathetic because it's the exact opposite of what college football is supposed to be about. Hate to say that, but anyway, don't want to get too far off the subject here talking about Nebraska, Oklahoma. You know, it was the game for years, and it should be once again. You know, Pelini and Stoops is a great story, and they're two great coaches, and, you know, they're both from Youngstown, both grew up down the street from each other, and had you know, rivalries in high school, whatever it be, playing sports, or, you know, they played on the same, you know, teams at times, and, uh, and you know, had basketball games against one another one-on-one, -on -one, you know. I mean, how would you like to have one of your buddies from high school and grow up, and all of a sudden, you guys are both college coaches at two of the most storied programs ever, and all of a sudden, you got a rivalry going there. 
I mean, it's good. It, it'd be a huge story. It'd be huge for both schools. It'd be huge for the Big 12. I mean, you got teams like Florida and LSU and the SEC. They're on opposite halves. They play each other every year. It can be done. I know there's some people from both sides saying, well, yeah, but it's not fair because then it's you're playing one of the best teams every year and it's going to knock you out. So what? That's what it used to be. Now, Nebraska and Oklahoma played on the day after Thanksgiving. The winner probably had a shot at a national title or close to it. And the loser was still had a damn good year. It was a lot of times number one versus number two. I mean, that happened a lot of times in Nebraska. Oklahoma history, number one against number two. The game of the century. I mean, when you got something that's called the game of the century, I mean, you got to be kidding me. Now, both teams have had their down times. You know, I'm watching the game right here, and you see Nebraska and Oklahoma. This is 95. I was just watching this game tonight, and since I saw that guy's video and I was watching this, it just kind of got my blood pumping. But, I mean, right now it's 30 to zip. Nebraska's a hit. This was at 90 to 5. I mean, this didn't even feel right. I mean, it didn't even, you watched it and you was sad because you knew Oklahoma wasn't meant to be that way. And I had Oklahoma fans tell me the same thing while Callahan was there screwing things up. I mean, we had, you know, what I'd call one good, decent year under him. And we got to play Oklahoma. But it wasn't how Nebraska football is supposed to be. It's supposed to be people cracking heads. And I don't want to carry on too long, but I just wanted the gentleman from Oklahoma to know that we have the same respect for you guys that you guys have for us. I do agree it should be a yearly affair, and it'll get back to that huge rivalry it once was if they allow that. So I think the public should just push for it. You know, fans can get things done. You know, People might not believe that, but Nebraska fans wanted Callahan out. They all leave the game at halftime, even though that's not the typical Nebraska way. They knew it had to be done. All of a sudden, Peterson and Callahan are out. I mean, the fans can get something done. They need to get it done. Nebraska fans, show up, scream your asses off in Nebraska, in Lincoln. This year, when Oklahoma comes to town, you never know. We could pull it off. Probably not, but we could pull it off. I'll be rooting for them. I'll think they have a chance, like I always do, especially in Lincoln. Let's get it done. It's Oklahoma, Nebraska.